part three binding navigator in form design of pb.net what is binding navigator this type of seeing navigator is the runtime is called in the design time also it's available runtime it will work so this is called the binding navigator how we want to take the binding navigator for example already this table is created now you can see i run the table so suppose i want to go move uh, next record or first record last record here move lot the already built in this suppose i want to add the record so add the record i can do like this 15 i can give some other name called for example i will give this and i can say that the mark is for example 21 here also i can give 19 like this i can give the marks so this is way i want to save the record i will save the record so now how many records five records are available after the things five records are available here this way i can add the information here so whatever the things this suppose this navigator is not appearing sometime it will it won't come so now i close the thing suppose it is not coming what we do is this for example what i do is i will delete this thing i will delete it is not coming how you can move it is very difficult to move i will delete it how i do this nothing but view here toolbox here already toolbox is available go to data Wherever the data is there, go here, data, put binding navigator. Manually you can see. Now I can run. I can choose. If you put manually also, it won't come here. Why? If you put manually also. What exactly you want to do is, after putting navigator, go to property. Go to property, the binding source. The binding source, what exactly you want to give is, our binding source. Actually, whatever our binding source is, none. So, give our binding source, whatever the binding source is available. You go here and whatever the property sheet here you go and binding source is available. In the property, there is a binding source. One minute, I will go there. Again, form design. Here I can go. In the binding source, I can go here. The property. Binding source is where? In this binding source, I will give what are the name is coming. Student binding source. Because what is student binding source? This is my table. You see? This is my table. The student is my table. So, student binding source. If I put it this, now I will run. Now I will run. Now it is appearing. You see? It is enabling. Now it is enabling. So, this is a way we can put binding navigator and binding property. We can go on what? We can go appropriate binding source in this form. Then only it will work. So, if it is not appear, don't worry it. We can take like this. This tutorial only I will put it in where actually. This way I give toolbox, data, binding navigator, whatever the binding navigator, drag and place it. After drag and place it, what we can do? It is not visible. In the design time only it is visible. So, go and change in the sheet appropriate binding source. Then only it is visible in where? Runtime. That is what is to be done.